All right, fourth grade. Today we are creating our bird bass. Get excited because this is one of the best projects you'll do this year. Today is our starting step, step one of the clay manipulation process. It is the start and also the finish of step one. Today you only have today to do this step. So pay attention to the next slides because they are going to be important to you. Our learning target for this is I will know and use clay addition attaching steps. Those steps are scratch, slime, and stick. That is the biggest thing I am going to teach you today. You're going to know those clay addition attaching steps so you can create a clay bird bath. You will know you're successful when your bird bath stays together. And that's why these steps are so important. Because if you don't do these, when your bird bath dries or when it's in the kiln being fired, it will fall apart. And we definitely do not want that. Here's what you need today. Make sure you have a bowl of water. And the bowl of water is for the sliming step. You need a fork for the scratching step. And of course you need your clay pieces that will make this bird bath. Your circle, which is for the top of your bath. The diamond, which is for the base. This piece right here, this column is for the base. And this little piece is going to be for your bird. The addition process, scratch, slime, and stick. You hear it ha see it happening right here. We're scratching, add a little water with our finger to both parts that we scratched. You have to scratch both parts and then we stick them firmly together. So this leads us to your first steps. You're going to want to scratch the base and your column piece. Both sides, these are going to fit together like Velcro, okay? You have to scratch both if they're going to stick and grab each other. The next step is slime. When you're adding a little water with your fingers, it's like adding glue. And that clay will really stick together. And then you stick them together firmly so that clay and that glue really grabs each other. If you do these three steps, your bird bath will not fall apart. So this is what? your base should look like when you're done with your attaching process. There you go. Here you see me smoothing and sealing the crack where these two pieces of clay come together right down here. Okay. Now you see at the top of the column it is already scratched and ready for when we apply the top. But before we can scratch the top we have to carefully turn up those edges on that circle. So that's what you're going to be doing next. Carefully turn up those edges. We are creating a bowl for the top of our bird bath. This bowl is going to contain the glass marbles that we melt inside that make um, our water for our bird bath. And if those edges are not turned up, when that, those glass marbles melt, they will just run right out. Okay, very important. You follow the same three S's to attach. Scratch. Notice that both of these have been scratched. You have to scratch both parts you're sticking together. Slime, you can see here, I've slimed it, it has a little bit of a shine. And then stick those together, okay? Be careful and gentle when you do this. You want it to stick, but you don't want the clay that you work so hard on to turn up the edge to get ruined. So be careful when you're attaching the bowl to the base. Okay, now for the bird. I am going to show you two different processes to help you make your bird, and you may do more than one. Two or three is your max, by the way. So when we take the ball, we pinch it, you twist it a little bit, you pinch both sides, 
to make your beak here. You poke an eye. Whoops. Let's go back. And then you can draw in a few little details. This is one way, and I'm going to have copies of this sheet and this sheet because you can follow either one of these steps to make your bird, whichever one makes more sense for you. This artist used a different kind of clay, but the idea is the same, okay? So again, you start with that ball. This artist made it into a cone and then pulled up the head a little bit and then formed and pinched the beak. Okay. Now, to attach your bird, we just put them on the edge. You can use the same attaching technique as we did, but if you're noticing that because the clay bowl is too soft and it's pushing down your clay bowl, just set your bird in the middle. When I fire it, I will fire them together but we can glue this guy on later with our E6000, okay? So again, if you're trying to attach your bird and it is pulling down that edge of your bowl, we also call that a lip of your bowl, but it's pulling it down because it's too heavy and your clay is too soft, then you're just going to set your bird inside, and after we fire it, we can glue it on with some E6000, okay? At this point, you're going to write your initials or your name carefully on your base. And then we will lay, or excuse me, set those on the black cart for drying. And when they're dry, I will fire them. And next time we can paint them. All right, good luck. Have fun. And remember your three S's.